ahead. Oh, you have a question, and I see Sandra. See, you have a question as well. Come to you in a minute. Kaylee, go ahead. How do I um, eliminate the ego or like kill off that self that tries to exist? Illusions have never tried to exist. So how do I stop? Believing in delusion. Who is the I that wants to end the ego? Take your time and tell me who is the I that wants to end the ego? Mm hmm. Mm. Why do I think of myself as an I? You said you don't think of yourself as an I? Or why do I think of myself as an I? Yes. Yes, great question. Yeah, great question. That's 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 a great question. Because the I is always thought of. The the I, the ego is always thought of. Jesus came to me. <laughs> In one of our times together, he says to me, says, and I, ever, I still catch myself saying it. I still catch Silas. It comes out of Silas's mouth. And I'm like, oh, there it was again. He said, stop saying I think. <laughs> stop. When people come to you, I was like, well, I think this. He says, stop saying you think. You're not even thinking. So stop saying it. <laughs> he says, stop saying it. You, you're not thinking. You are, you are the words of life. So stop thinking. And I said, oh, my God. And it was like trying to break my, like, like let go of. I think the I is always thought of. It, it is always thought of. It is a concept, purely concept. And the I that wants to kill the concept is still the concept. Because the concept always has to work to accomplish something. The truth of who you are can't be added to, cannot be taken away from, just is. There's nothing to kill there. <laughs> There's nothing to end there. You just are. You simply are. You simply exist. You simply are. And you get to then in that place play and, and create and explore and expand continually. So this is, this is the Christ. This is the Christ. It's the ego that wants to do two things. It wants to kill the ego and it wants to kill the Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Double murder. Double murder. It, it will play this game. The mind will play this game. This is who I am. And, I'm, and, I, and I, there's this, this, I want to become something more. And it's, it's so frustrated because it's trying and trying and trying to become something. But you can never become who you already are. And so all the effort, all the reading of your Bible and all the prayer and all the going to church or going to temple or, 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 or say, spent time spent in meditation at the, some Buddhist, Buddhist mo monastery or some silent retreat or whatever it is, all of, that, all of that work, all of that effort leads you nowhere but to more frustration. It might, there might be some moments of awakening along the way. But all of your, that does not come in the moment of effort. That comes in the moment when you're just out of your mind and you're not in effort anymore. No more effort. That's where awakening. Awakening never comes when you're trying really hard. The harder you're trying, the more the ego is involved. It is impossible for you to try to be you. You've never once had to try to be the Christ. <laughs> trying to talk myself in to being the Christ so that I could just try. If I try really hard, I can be the Christ to my family. You can never be the Christ to your family if you're trying. It's the moment you stop trying, the moment you stop thinking, the moment that, that ends, that you transcend all the conceptualized you that now you just are. This is the place of the Christ. The unoffendable place. The place where there's nothing to lose. There's nothing to gain, nothing to lose. But this is the place of true bliss where you're able to experience and explore so you're saying, how can I end? 
It's the I that wants to end the self. Uh, I think it was a Jim Carrey quote said something about, um, I think he said something about the, the depression is you trying to escape the avatar. Yeah, the avatar saying it's tired of playing yeah. that role. The avatar saying it's tired of playing that role. It's yeah. it's like your body, who you who you think you are, is tired of this yeah. expression, mm -hmm. tired of it, this life, yeah. and it wants to end it. Mm -hmm. And so ego tries and tries and tries to become. And when it finally realizes that it cannot become, its last resort is to physically kill itself. Yeah. Right. This is what all suicide is, is the ego trying to end itself because it wants to be something different. And so what it's gone, now there's just this other state of consciousness. Mm -hmm. But you are still very conscious of the same things that you were conscious of before where the ego was still right playing the game because the ego isn't real. The ego is not attached to your body. The ego isn't real. This this illusionary concept mm -hmm. will will fight will fight will fight why because we've created it. If all there is is essence, then what what is illusion? When I say illusion, what I'm talking about is your self created thing that's bringing you misery. Your self created baggage. Your self created burden that's bringing you misery. It's an illusion. But you even feel that. And to one person, this is a baggage or this is a burden that is miserable. And to the other person, they just say, ah, it's a game. So there is no, there is no you that needs to kill off the you. And therefore, there is no how to be able to kill off the you. This doesn't exist. This doesn't exist. KB, I feel like there was a second part of that question that I missed, but. Why do I feel compelled to keep doing things? I don't understand. Yeah. Why is it that I can feel like what you're talking about, but then things pull me away. Like, hmm. why do I feel like I have to take care of myself? Like, I have to keep doing things to live and to be an I. Why do I feel so compelled to take care of the I? Great question. Great question. It's because the, the thing is, anytime we identify, whatever it is that we identify in, we have to take care of. Mm. And so when you realize, this is why I've been saying, when you realize who you really are, see, essence doesn't need to be fed. Mm. Essence doesn't need water. Essence doesn't need to belong because it's one with all. Mm. Essence doesn't need to to work. It's gonna be, it can it can do all these things and enjoy all of those things. Mm. You can rise up in manifestation and enjoy every single one of those things. I eat because it's good. I don't eat because I'm hungry. I cannot tell you the last time I was hungry. I do not eat because I'm hungry. I eat because it tastes good. There's lots of days it'll go, 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 go. And having, uh, experiencing this existence as Silas with three kids and, and all this, there's always food and there's always things happening. And maybe it's, who knows? I, I, <laughs> it's, you know, there's always something. Uh, but you know, if it wasn't being presented, I would, I would probably would just not eat unless something's presented. You, oh, it looks so good. I want to do this. I want to experience this. 
it gets brought up, somebody brings it up to you, oh yeah, let's go eat, sounds amazing. Not hungry, let's go, let's go. What do I want to taste? People are always saying, where do you want to eat? It really doesn't matter to me. What do you want? I know it frustrates some people. Mm-hmm. You know, Beth, <laughs> Beth says, what do you want to eat? I say, I don't really, I just do not care. No, you have to pick something. I could literally just pick anything as long as it's not fast food and, and, and I'll enjoy it, you know? Um, but the Burger King I can do, okay, the Whopper, like, on occasion. Not today, Sam. <laughs> not today, Sam. <laughs> so we're, it's, so I'm, it's all about identity. Identity is not, this is, I, one of the things that I've said to you on many occasions, I think the mo- most of you has heard me say this, and it is, my heart's desire is to bring you to the place where there is no more belief and no more identity. Where there just is, where you just are. This is isness, this is fullness. Go ahead, Kay. That hits on the last part of my question, which is why do I still believe in myself or self or an I? Why am I clinging to that? You and everyone else has that question. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All of humanity that at least has awakened to some degree has the question. But the good news is that the fact that you have the question means you've at least awakened to the reality that this is not me. Mm -hmm. This is great. It's a great place to be. Mm -hmm. Don't get frustrated. Don't get frustrated. It's it's a good, this is a wonderful place to be. It's such a, a beautiful place. And in this place, every time you hear, every time you come here, every time you hear an, another person speak of essence, or every time you come and you discover more of who you are, you come to classes, you come where, whatever, you're continually experiencing the peeling away. And there will be, you don't need to, see, you don't need to try, you don't need to try to get somewhere. You can never get somewhere. You'll never, I tell every one of you, say, so you will never one day awaken. <laughs> <coughs> you'll never one day awaken so there's not going to be this one day off in the, the distant future where you just awaken it's not going to happen people say well that's first that sounds that sounds frustrating to me you're telling me i'll never awaken i didn't say you'll never awaken i said there's not a one day the day in which you awaken is always going to be now it'll always be now so the first thing we need to do is we stop looking till tomorrow to awaken and we just sink into this moment here. <laughs> so instead of saying, why do I keep wanting to end this? And why can't I seem to get this? Let's say this. I am. What, don't try to believe it. The essence doesn't need to be believed. doesn't need to be believed I am and so you're you're realizing you're realizing something and then you're realizing something and, and you're realizing something and you're realizing something and you're realizing essence and more essence and you're realizing and you're realizing and you're realizing and then there's this moment when you look backwards and you go wow I haven't even realized how far I've come I didn't even realize, but this whole time there was an awakening happening. I was looking for it out there. The moment I stopped looking for it out there, I started realizing that it's been happening this whole time. When you stop looking for the, when you stop looking for something outside of yourself, your path appears because you are the path. Mm. Whoa! Huh? Can you say that again? When you stop looking outside of yourself for the path, the path will appear because you are the path. Mm. Hey guys, thanks for watching our video. Give us a thumbs up, comment, thoughts, questions in the section below. Let us know what you want to hear from us. Subscribe to our channel for more life-changing content. And as always, check the section below for our website, for live events, where we'll be, what we're up to, more about us, and our online school website is listed below as well. We love you. We're glad you're here. We want to hear from you. We're in this with you.